Hi everyone and welcome to my channel today. Uh, I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you watching. So thank you. Um, I am going to do planner number 28 and the prompts today. Something related to coffee. Well, I've grabbed a coffee bag. bag. So it's the foil wrapping that the coffee bag went into and I'm thinking I'll use that probably might cut it actually I don't think I'll use it as such like that uh, anything with a bit of pink um, okay well this is I've got this distress oxide oxide spray which is uh, the spun sugar which is a kind of a pink and that also is going to cover my one of the other prompts which is ink um, so that will be two prompts in one uh, something in the shape of a hexagon now what I've done I've grabbed this flower and I'm going with this as a hexagon because if you draw join the the sort of the top of the petals you get a hexagon so you've got one two three four five and six so a six sided shape so that's what I'm using for that a photo or portion of a photo I've got this photo here and I grabbed this one in particular because I figured you can guarantee those people who are going to be sitting at those tables will be having coffee this photo is from Athens um, so you can guarantee there'll be coffee involved somewhere so that's how I linked it in there uh, the next one was the ink I've talked about a bonus piece of dictionary page which I've just grabbed this particular one I really wish I could say it's Greek but I don't know I don't think it is actually I don't know it might well be I don't know actually no idea all right but it's not English I do know that okay so this is what I've got to work with now um, okay I did say I would cut this because I don't want it to I want it to lie flat so if I just and I'm hoping this will glue down with the uh, glitter glue. Oh, it smells nice actually. I can still smell the coffee smell. I don't drink a lot of coffee myself. Um, occasionally I do. And this is probably one of the ones that I would drink. Okay, let me see. Now I did put um, a bit of a grid page down as a background just for something different. And I put a bit of uh, Distress Ink around it just to grunge it up a little bit. Um, I'm thinking though what I need to do is put the, the ink. Okay, shall I risk spraying? Yes, I'm going to do it. They never spray very well. Um, I always find I get a huge mess. So what I might do is grab a baby wipe. And it's already a mess around the spray area. Okay, let's see how we go with this. Now, I might just pop that there for a sec. Now, hopefully I won't make too much of a mess. And I'm going to have to dry it, I think. Come on, come on. Now, yeah, see, it's already... Oh, there we go. Ooh, okay. All right. Maybe a bit more there. It's very light, this one. All right, I'm going to pause the video and dry that. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, um, very light. So I may add a bit of pink somewhere else in a minute, but we'll see how we go. Okay, so I'm thinking I need to use this somehow, but I don't want to use the whole thing. And I certainly don't want the straight edges. So um, let's just... Oops, doesn't tear very well. Just do it like that, I think. Um, I'm going to pop it there. Uh, now I have the photo, which because it's the biggest thing, I think it's going to have to go maybe there. Actually, I think I might just trim it a little bit big. And while I'm at it. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe there coffee um, thinking the flower would be nice sort of up there so maybe the coffee there photo there 
and flower there. I don't mind that. I'm um, just having a look. What else did I have to do? Uh, more ink. Okay. Alright, I think I might leave it at that, but I might bring it down a little bit so it's a little bit more down this way. Alright, let's just quickly distress the edges of this. I don't think I'll bother with the coffee bag because the foil of it, I don't think it will stay anyway. Uh, we might do this one. Now I could do a little bit of stamping in pink actually, I might do that. Alright, let's just glue this down. Hope everybody's well. Getting lots of crafting in. Although I guess those ones of you who are in the Northern Hemisphere, you're still having a lovely summer. And you're probably not spending a lot of time doing your crafting. I imagine you're all out and about and making the most of the fact that it is summer and the sun shining. Although I have heard that it's shining quite strongly. <laughs> it's um, been hot in a lot of places. Now, this one keeps curling up so it's a little bit challenging. I was going to tuck it underneath but I think I might just leave it like that. Okay, and the flower can sort of sit there I think. Uh, yep, I think I like that there. And then we might get some stamping in. Alright, okay, now what can I stamp? I've got plenty of pinks, so that's not the issue. Uh, let's see, we've got, that's pink. Um, what could I use? Maybe, I've got, the pa I've got a pattern thing here, but I'm not sure I like that. Um, maybe a postal. got the postal one. It's got sort of circles. Let's have a look. Just as a... Yep, that looks good. It's upside down, but <laughs> it's still not bad. Just puts a little bit of more pink on the page. Probably the Eiffel Tower with the Greek business is probably not the best option, but it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm happy with that. And what I might try to do is just put a little bit of this, just sort of. Maybe try and droop it. I don't want to put too much water on the page though, that's the thing. Oh, it might fall, it might drip anyway. Oh, okay. Just drip. Come on. <laughs> just trying to cover it a bit, that's all. Maybe I'll just give it a helping hand. There we go. I don't want too much and I don't want to make the page too wet because um, it's, this book's not really designed for very wet. Okay, what I might do, just run this down the edge, quickly go over the prompts, give it a bit of a dry, take a photo and I'm done. So, something related to coffee was the coffee bag there. Uh, anything with a bit of pink, well we've got the pink ink and the pink stamping. Something in the shape of a hexagon was the flower. Photo or portion of photo. Ink being the pink distress ink. And a dictionary page there. So that is it. I will need to dry it before I can turn it over. But thank you very much for joining me. And I will see you again soon. Bye for now.